we'll look at the explore routine in SPSS as a method for getting a great deal of information about uh, variables of interest as well as for data screening and looking for data entry errors. So uh, here in our uh, fictitious data set, we have data for 20 participants, uh, coded nominal variable as to whether they are male or female, and then a list of ages and years, um, our scalar variable. And you can see the sex variable here, male and female, are coded as 0 and 1, respect respectively. So the explore routine can be found under analyze, descriptive statistics, and explore. And essentially what you would want to do to get a, a quick look at a variable of interest is slide the variable you're interested in over to the dependent list. And so this is the variable that will be, the statistics will be generated on. So um, the explore routine will produce a whole slew of descriptive statistics as we'll see. It also will produce um, some plots by default, but it has an additional menu where you can ask it to also produce histograms and normality plots and tests. These are very useful for looking at the distribution of your data uh, and the normality plots with tests are particularly useful for looking at whether your data conform or violate the assumption of normality, which is an assumption many inferential tests uh, carry. So we'll, we'll click those two and we'll click continue here. And let's take a look at the output of this particular simple explore routine. So what it shows, of course, first is that 20 cases were processed in terms of generate, uh, information on participants' age. And then you see the different descriptive statistics that are reported, traditional central tendency and dispersion, as well as distributional characteristics of skewness and kurtosis. Here's our test of normality. There's two different tests. You could take your pick. Uh, and uh, as uh, always here, what you're looking for is, is uh, not rejecting the null hypothesis in this case as an indicator of uh, meeting the assumption of normality. The histogram we asked for looking at participants' age, a stem and leaf plot to look at the values, uh, the normal QQ plot to look at uh, the normality of um, participants' age variable from a different perspective, and then finally a box plot. So you get many visualizations, uh, many assessments of normality, and uh, lots of descriptive information with that simple explore routine. So I'm going to delete this and uh, also show how you can use the explore routine to look at a variable as a function of another variable. So let's say we're interested in looking at the age variable as a function of male or female. Uh, we can do that very simply in the explore routine menu. Uh, we still keep age as our dependent variable here, I suppose, our variable of interest. But now we want to look at age as a function of participant sex. So we can put that into the factor list. And now that we have two groups, we can also look for uh, whether our data meet the assumption of homogeneity of variance across these two groups. And there are different ways you can do that. The, the simplest way would be to just use the untransformed data and examine the variance of the males versus the females. Click continue, we'll click OK, and we'll get a very similar output, except this time, SPSS will divide our sample according to the uh, variable of, of sex, but we get the same thing, the descriptives according to males, the descriptives according to females, the tests of normality for both groups, tests of homogeneity of variance, histograms, box plots, stem and leaf plots, etc. Right, so um, that is the explore routine. Uh, you can use this to get a sense of the data, uh, both, both visually as well as descriptively through the summary statistics. Uh, but you can also look for things like the minimum and maximum values to make sure you have no outlandish variable uh, values in the data set uh, or errors in data entry as well. It's a pretty useful uh, routine and um, hopefully you, your research will benefit from it. Thank you very much.